what's going on guys it's your boy Krampa Wolf and, and today I'm going to show you some quick tip on how to create a rain effect so without wasting much time let's get into the tutorial okay guys before we continue with this tutorial I've given you these two files so make sure you download the ZSP installer this is for only Windows or PC Mac I'll show you how you guys can get this ZSP installer so please download these two files rain fx and zsp installer so basically this site here we have the Z, uh, http zsp installer.com basically this site so this way mark you guys can also download it on your machine windows you can also download it from the site so after downloading it make sure you locate where you downloaded the file this is mine so i'll double click and Follow what it asked me and I'll just install it. So just follow along and install it on your machine. I've, I've already installed mine, so I'll just double click. So make sure the green FX you unzip it. So if you, if you have the zip file, just extract it to your desktop or anywhere you, you wish you can extract it. So here if you open the zsp installer to ask you drag a zsp file or click here to select the file so either you can drop the raining fx here this is where to ask you just drop the file here to install it or you can just double click and locate where the file was downloaded so you can just double click and locate where the file is. so for now i have my own already here so the only thing i need to do is just drag and drop it here and just leave it for you to install note if you are doing this make sure your photoshop is closed and any adobe product is closed if you are working on any project please close it and install this uh, software before you continue so right now we are done so now let's fire photoshop so to locate this plugin you go to windows you go to extension then you go to bb tools rain effects this is the plugin or the extension that will be using to create the rain effect so this is it you can dock it to your then some of your panel you can have my own here so this uh an edit i did recently is on instagram so you guys can check me on instagram so grandpa also i'm on instagram so this is the picture here now i'll be showing you how you guys can add the rain effect to this edit so before we continue i want you guys to know that this guy here on instagram joy joyride i don't know if i'm pronouncing it correct by joyride uh he sponsored me by giving me some beats or some audio that i'll be using in my edit or be the background music you are hearing is from this guy he also creates cool art on Instagram so you guys can check him out I'll leave in his Instagram link in the description so make sure you check him out check him out on Instagram and so now let's continue with the tutorial so this is the finished edit and I wish I'll add look in here look down here you find some splashes of the rain so I think I can add some rain here to give it that cool effect so this is the plugin bb2 screen effects so if you come to the tools here or the extension you find the angle the angle in which we want the rain to to go have the density that's how the, the amount or the the massiveness of the rain or the box we, we only if you visit the bb2 screen effects you have the density you have the speed you have the wind strength you have the levels of rain this is not that difficult to understand about within this tutorial i hope you guys will get the understanding so make sure auto update is on and normally i love to turn on merge group you guys will see what will happen right now so the thing we need to do is just go to let it rain here find it here. just click on let it rain and let's see the magic So allow it to do its thing and it will give you the final result. So this is the final result. 
the rain effects give to us so right now uh, there's something you guys should note here in case you want heavy rain or light rain all depends on what you guys want if you want a heavy rain you can duplicate the rain effects layer so the only thing is you just press ctrl j on your keyboard to just duplicate it if you want light you can also do the same so right now looking at the splash of the water over here i think the direction of this is a little bit not fixing so i'll just go to my angle here and just turn it small let's see what will happen so the reason why i said leave photo update on is that anytime you just touch any settings here it will update here for you So let's turn off this uh -huh, i think this is this is looking good so some of you will say oh this is cool i'm gonna let me save it let me go to instagram let me go and post it but guys wait here you can add some little details to it so this is what we're gonna do let's delete this so this is our rain effects duplicate this layer ctrl j then go to the down one let's let's rename it so rain fx rain fx1 and rain fx2 okay so turn off the first one here then go to this the down one change the blending mode to linear dodge add so the reason why we took this blending mode is that let's look at some difference here if you go to screen screen mode you find the rain just like in front of the guy or the, at the back of the guy so let's say in the front of the guy because you can see it here and if you go to the linear dodge add this is what you see you can see that it seems some of the rain is just behind him and this this is very cool effect yeah so i think the down one changes the blending mode to linear dodge add then the top one just change the blending mode to color dodge so with this there you find some of the particles of the rain having the color of the background we have here so looking at the background you can see some of the rains depict some of the uh, colors of the background so if you see this is too much you notice not that and heavy rain here so you can reduce the opacity to around let's say 34 35 40 okay let's go for 50 50 50 50 50 50 so you also say okay i'm done here okay now there's more you can also do so now let's go to our levels so let's use adjustment layer let's go to our levels okay. and then make a clipping max then we'll adjust some level the levels here if you want more rain you can change the slider to your left if you want less rain come push the sliders to your right so this is how it is so you can adjust it according to the way you want it so i think this is okay for me and this let's go back to the opacity and increase it a little bit so i think this is okay so for now you ask me oh i'm done okay okay let me let me let me post it so you can also add another thing to it so this is what you do make a duplicate again ctrl j and resize it small and adjust it here this time i increase the opacity here change the blending mode to screen then adjust it small here okay now hold alt on your keyboard and click on the layer max then select your brush 
hand brush then just paint the rain drops over the guy I know you guys are not seeing it but this is some detail that I just added into it so when you are done just duplicate it several times control J J J J so this is what effects it gives you so look at some effects here this this what I was talking of for this it so that's the effect so guys looking at this effect you can apply it in different pictures that you want so this plugin or this extension is very good this is a quick way of creating rain so you can experiment with the sliders here density speed wind strength levels of rain and uh, you guys can just tune it to the desire that you guys want on your picture so this is just a quick tip for you i'm not going to waste much time so make sure if you are new here make sure you subscribe you turn on the bell notification and i'll see you in my next post peace